Hey, good morning from Walla Walla. I'm Don Dyer, and this is my museum, one car garage machine shop. <laughs> I, I've got this uh, uh, 5C attachment here. It just works fantastic. I, uh, this is the original knob, and uh, I just think a round knob uh, <laughs> looks a lot better. I don't like the looks of that one. <laughs> so that's working good. I uh, I came up with my conglomeration of um, the multi-fix uh, quick withdraw tool that they made, or they might still make. And this is a, a KDK holder here. It's a swivel holder that was missing the swivel. But this uh, hard inch um, slide uh, fits right in there. And it, it takes round tools, so I uh, turned the shank of a really good quality uh, Iskar carbide uh, bit that uh, Rob had a surplus there, and turned it round to fit the round uh, tool holder. So this goes on here. If I don't drop it, lock that down, and uh, so when you're uh, doing a thread, you come to the end of it, you uh, withdraw it like this. Engage, disengage. It's just going to be a lot easier uh, juggling with this because uh, this older machine doesn't uh, have that stop. You know, so anyway, that's uh, working out real good. My high production uh, Axelson. <laughs> Actually, it's really nice for uh, smaller parts, and the machine does go fast enough over a thousand RPM to uh, make use of uh, the collets. Now over here, <laughs> I, I'm uh, getting used to uh, this um, all tool workhead here and uh, it's just really nice compact easy to use and i ground the angles in that tool bit after i made the shank round but uh this is more of a creating uh tool i think and just to regularly sharpen that after uh, the threading tool and we all just use this plane fixture here this um it takes 5C collets, and it's a plain bearing fixture, and it runs very, very true. Now, this is the regular workhead. Now, if you can see, it is just really quite large, and it's heavy. It's about all I can do to pick it up. And uh, I'm going to be using these uh, lighter weight fixtures more now that I have them. But uh, just for decades, this has worked fine. The... Uh, the standard fixture it's just it's just a little bit heavier <laughs> a little slower to use so this other stuff's going to be pretty nice so now we're getting over here now i got 5c collets here with the bow star on the brown and sharp uh, dividing head and i'm making a lot of use out of this uh this whole um horizontal mill and it's kind of fun to do stuff in the horizontal mode too i uh i'm gonna get a better internet hookup tomorrow so maybe uh things will work better with videos i can do some editing it just takes painfully long to uh upload anything okay so now <laughs> now now we're at the uh herrig air flow fixture now i just almost didn't get this it uh um i got thinking about it and i think i could make quite a bit of use uh, of this fixture other than creating undersized end mills <laughs> that i don't really need a lot of now usually i don't know if i got an end mill handy here so usually what I do is an end mill gets bad on the end and I take a cutoff wheel and just cut it off then recreate this, right? And I can use the standard work head. With this thing here, you can grind flutes. All right, so if you sharpen the flute, then suddenly the end mill is undersized. 
So, <laughs> so if you was a half inch, you wouldn't make a half inch slot. You'd have to come back and take a couple of thousands to get that half inch. All right, so that's kind of how that is. Now, I uh, playing around with run out on these um, 5C cards. This Herrick takes 5C. And this is the 3 8 5C collet that was in Rob's junk box that I took and dressed up with a stone and a couple of burrs. Let's see how it runs out. I've been playing around with collets. Hope I can get that without glare. I don't think there's a ten, maybe two tenths at the very most run out. At the end of this uh, three eighths uh, precision pin used in molds, and that thing's really straight and true. So this this thing runs all but dead true. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and leave this on this table or put it on the place this table on the cutter grinder set this up on there and I should be able to grind radiuses and I should be able to uh, adjust the spindle accurately for the radius even tiny radiuses and um, make use of it that way. So that's going to be an interesting uh, thing to do. And you know what I mean by radius is uh, ball end mills and uh, corners. Radius in the corners of end mills. And other cutters. Now this is interesting. Here let me see if I can get that engaged. Hold on. I got it. The wrench went down on the floor. Here we go. So this does have indexing. And uh, it works like this. Just that little tab. See? So it's got six positions here. Then four positions on this collar. Now that Rochelo attachment that Rob had as the airflow had a a 24 division plate that with a locking tab and I, and I would like to do something like that or at least uh, a 24 division um, ratcheting deal. So anyway, I thought I'd show off that uh, incredible run out of the uh, airflow. It's phenomenal. And how it indexes. <laughs> okay, I'll be back and hopefully back uh, with better internet hookup tomorrow. Okay, bye.